SpaceX hurdles toward the 2023 deadline with fervor. Falcon 9, the reigning favorite broomstick, remains at the forefront, but its younger sibling, the Falcon Heavy, is poised to join the historic spectacle. This behemoth is slated to embark on the seventh mission of the U.S. Air Force's X-37B space plane from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida this very week. This marks the fifth Falcon Heavy launch of 2023, an imperative national security endeavor planned half a decade ago. In readiness, SpaceX conducted a static fire test just this past weekend. However, just before this fiery display, a twist emerged. The U.S. Space Force declared a delay in the upcoming launch of its enigmatic X-37B space plane. The mission, USS F-52, initially set for December 7th, now was pushed to December 10th. Launch Complex 39A constraints and shifting schedules are cited for this shift as relayed in a statement from the Space Force. Brigadier General Kristen Panzenhagen from Space Launch Delta 45 emphasized collaboration with launch service providers rallying the team for an impeccable mission in an email from the Space Systems Command, or SSC. But returning to the present, during the riveting 12-second static fire on December 3rd, the Falcon Heavy, the pinnacle of commercial rocketry, roared to life. Its first stage is Merlin 1D engines aflame, likely generating a colossal 2,350 tons of thrust. With this fiery test in the books, Falcon Heavy's fourth launch looms, expected within the coming 5-10 to 10 days. But there's more to come before its grand departure. A return to LC-39A's hangar awaits, where the fairing will be fitted before another majestic return to the launch pad, a ritualistic pilgrimage of sorts. As for the rescheduled USS F-52 liftoff on December 10th, it's primed to take off from the KSC's LC-39A during an unspecified launch window. Further details will unfold as the launch date approaches, per the SSC email. This marks the reusable space plane's inaugural journey on a Falcon Heavy rocket, a significant shift from its clandestine mission. While the X-37B's earlier voyages were on United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rockets, this forthcoming flight is an extraordinary venture into uncharted territory, having only one sword on a Falcon 9. Amidst its most recent mission, the X-37B voyaged through 908 days in orbit, gracefully returning to Earth's embrace on November 12th of 2022. The touchdown was a nostalgic rendezvous, landing on the same runway at KSC previously graced by space shuttle landings. Enter the Falcon Heavy, a formidable assembly of three Falcon 9 boosters for the rocket's initial stage. Its prowess in carrying weightier payloads to loftier orbits surpasses both the Atlas V and the Falcon 9. It's poised to propel the X-37B further into the celestial expanse than ever before. While the spacecraft's operational capabilities remain cloaked in secrecy, the objective for USS F-52 appear ambitious. The Space Force's release hinted at X-37B venturing into new orbital regimes. Among the unclassified experiments embarked upon during USS F-52 is NASA's SEEDS-2. This groundbreaking endeavor aims to scrutinize the radiation effects of prolonged spaceflight on plant SEEDS. The Space Force disclosed additional mission objectives, including endeavors in experimenting with space Space Domain Awareness Technologies. A poignant visual emerged from the release, an image portraying the X-37B, now adorned with the Space Force's emblem for the first time, standing side by side with one of its payload fairings moments before encapsulation. This maiden joint journey of the Falcon Heavy and X-37B isn't the rocket's inaugural flight for the Space Force. SpaceX has secured approval to launch national security payloads using re conditioned stages. The side boosters primed for USS F-52 boast an illustrious history, each having ventured on four prior missions. Among these missions were two Space Force launches in November of 2022 and January of 2023, along with the deployment of the Hughes-Jupiter-3 communications satellite and NASA's Psyche probe earlier
earlier this year. In the imminent launch following the booster's retrieval, both SpaceX and NASA officials revealed plans for a thrilling encore. These venerable boosters are set to be harnessed for a sixth and final mission, a grand expedition to ferry NASA's Europa Clipper mission to the moon of Jupiter in October of 2024. An extraordinary chapter awaits in their storied saga. In another noteworthy development, an issue affecting the Hubble Space Telescope has reignited deliberations on NASA's potential authorization of a private mission aimed at reboosting and potentially conducting repairs on the spacecraft. NASA declared on November 29th that the Hubble Space Telescope had entered safe mode due to a malfunction in one of its three operational gyroscopes. This particular gyro, or gyro if you're Greek, triggered a safe mode earlier on November 19th due to erroneous readings. Although spacecraft controllers restored Hubble's operations, issues resurfaced on November 21st and the 23rd. Engineers are diligently investigating the problem and there's no clear estimation of when normal scientific operations will resume. While Hubble can function using just a single gyro, there might be some loss of productivity, particularly in certain solar system observations. The telescope, equipped with six gyros since the last shuttle servicing mission in 2009, has encountered issues with three of these gyros malfunctioning over time. This recent temporary setback for Hubble prompted a reaction from Jared Isaacman, the billionaire supporter of SpaceX's Polaris program for private astronaut missions. He posted on social media, put us in coach, referencing the study announced in September of 2022. This study involving Isaacman, SpaceX, and NASA explored the possibility of a private mission using SpaceX's Crew Dragon to reboost and potentially repair Hubble. Isaacman had suggested earlier that a Hubble mission could be the second among three planned Polaris missions. Although the study, conducted under an unfunded Space Act agreement, concluded earlier this year, neither NASA nor SpaceX has revealed any details regarding the findings or subsequent steps. Isaacman hinted on social media that the study suggested the feasibility of a reboost and surfacing mission. This should be an easy risk slash reward decision, he stated, without divulging specifics about the mission approach. While SpaceX is one option for servicing Hubble, NASA had previously issued a request for information, seeking concepts for commercial missions to reboost the telescope. The agency received eight responses, including one from Astroscale in partnership with Momentus. However, NASA hasn't disclosed a timeline for the evaluation of these proposals. Part of that review means looking at the capabilities of the Hubble Space Telescope itself and how this would work in concert with the telescope and make sure the telescope itself remains safe during the process, Mark Clampin, director of NASA's Astrophysics Division, said of the review of those servicing proposals during a NASA Science Town Hall meeting on July 27th. People within the industry have expressed confidence in the feasibility of a reboost mission using either Crew Dragon or a robotic spacecraft. Such a mission would counteract the gradual orbital decay Hubble experiences due to atmospheric drag, effectively extending its operational lifespan. However, skepticism exists regarding the prospects of repairing Hubble due to the intricacy of such tasks. Crew Dragon lacks essential capabilities such as an airlock and a robotic arm necessary for servicing missions. Similarly, existing robotic systems have not yet proven their ability to conduct sophisticated repairs in the demanding environment of space. China holds numerous significant objectives to accomplish by the end of 2023 as well. Remarkably, launch startup Landspace gears up for the imminent launch of its methane-powered rocket this week. Set to lift off, the Zhuchui-2, or Vermilion Bird 2 as it translates out to, Rocket aims to carry satellites showcasing its operational capabilities. This launch follows the setback of its initial Zhuchui-2 mission nearly a year ago, which unfortunately ended in a failure. However, in July, the second Zhuchui-2 launch successfully reached orbit, albeit carrying a mass simulator instead of active payloads. The Zhuchui-2 employs methane and liquid oxygen for propulsion, achieving the milestone of becoming the first such rocket 
needed to reach orbit. This accomplishment preceded Relativity Space's Terran rockets and SpaceX's Starship which encountered a significant setback during its second test launch back on November 18th, resulting in failure. Preparations for the launch have been detected at Chuan Satellite Launch Center using satellite imagery. Landspace established its launch pad at Chuan, specifically designed to accommodate its Methalox rocket. Company leadership announced that the launch is scheduled for 7.30 a.m. Beijing time on December 5th. The successes of Chuan 2 and Space Pioneers Tianlong 2 in April marked pivotal moments in the evolution of Chinese commercial launch endeavors. These liquid propellant rockets developed by Chinese startups were the first to reach orbit. Prior to this, all other commercial orbital launches had involved smaller and less complex solid rockets. The upcoming third Zhuchui 2 mission might not be the only Methalox launch before the year concludes. SpaceX recently conducted its second test flight of the massive Starship and United Launch Alliance is gearing up for the inaugural flight of its new Vulcan Centaur. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays.